Welcome back to the modding tutorial series. My name is 6M66. In today's video I show you how you set up your own custom quest with the new custom quest tool. Before we can start we have to check up some things. First of all download the quest tool and the native PC folder preset I made for this tutorial. After this you also need the extracted game files. If you don't have them, check out the video in the video description and then come back if you finish this step. After you downloaded all the files and get the extracted game files, we can now start the quest tool. Before we load the quest in it, you are able to choose a language on the bottom of the program. After you choose your language, we can click on File, Open Quest. Now the tool asks you for the extracted game files. Just select the junk folder and click OK. A little window will pop up and there you can select any quest from the game. After you select one, just click on load quest and we can start with the editing. On the first page called common you can set up the basics from the quest. On the top you find the money after you completing the quest or the money you lose after you die in the quest. Down below you can set up the camp type and the spawn location. Below you can set up the day and night circle for the quest. For example, you can start at midnight or sunrise or afternoon or so on. Right next to them you can select the weather type. Below you can set up the time limit for the quest. Right next to them you can choose the map himself. Important here to say is if you change the monster or the map, you make sure that the map or the monsters are belong to each other. Or aren't the game is able to spawn the monster or even can't move on this map. In the middle section you can define what type for request it is. For example capturing, slaying or hunting or delivery or so on. Down below you can set up the rank as needed. And on the bottom you can set up the quest level. I push this always to 9 or 10 that the user can find this quest easily on the quest board. On the bottom you can select the icons that shown on the quest board. You can choose monster icons or a couple different other icons. Just select them and we are good to go. Now we go on to the second page called Monsters. You can add or delete monsters from the quest and set up the basic stats from there. For example you can set up the health, the attack or the size. For the size is important you can work with a value between 15 or 400. Make sure if you work around on the edges of these two numbers to set up the size modifier to zero at the end. At the end you can set up some defense settings from the monsters. Make sure you work here with a volume between 1 and 30. On the right hand side you can edit some stats from the smaller monsters. For example the damage modifier or the health modifier. Now we can go on to the third page. Here select the main target from the quest. For example if you have to hunt something or delivery something. You can also create a multi-monster quest on the left hand side. Just simply click the box and select the amount of monsters you have to hunt. Now we can move on to the last page, the spawn logic. Here you can set up the spawn behaviors from the monsters. If they spawn all at the start or after some time or if the map is empty or so on. If you need some help, just click the help button. It's very helpful, trust me. Now we finished our basic settings. Now we have to save it. Just simply file save quest and as encrypted. After we save the quest just simply drag and drop the quest folder in the native PC folder. For the next step we need some files from the chunk folder. First of all the RAM file. This file is basically the loot after you completing the quest. And also the supply box file. That's basically the items that stuck at the beginning from the quest in the supply box. The IDs from both of these files shown on the bottom left on the tool himself. Just copy and paste them in the right folder from the preset I created and we are good to go. The last file we need is the text file from the quest. But we have a problem, we don't know the ID from this quest. To solve this problem, just save the file and open the quest folder. Then. You have the quest and the ID also. Now we can search for this file. Just click on common, text and quest. Search for the right ID and the right language. Just copy and paste them and we are good to go. Now we can use the tools that come with this tool. 
first of all the supply box editor. Just click on tools and supply box editor. Now you can load up your supply box file. On the left hand side you can select the items and on the right hand side the ammo or the coding. Just set everything up and save it. Next up we go for the RAM editor. Just click on tools and RAM reward editor. Now load in the RAM file and now you can set up everything. First of all the item and the amount. And the last one is the rarity from the item. Zero you get it definitely and hundred it's very very rare. Last but not least the text file editor. Just click on tools and text editor. Here you can change all informations from the quest that's shown on the quest board. Just simply rename everything and save it. Now we are close to finish. The last step we have to do is just simply drag and drop the native PC folder in the main folder from the game. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions just leave a comment down below, like and subscribe if you found this video helpful and for all my patrons out there, thank you for all your support. You are fucking amazing. And until then, see you next time, your 6M6D6.